All right, so we're here today at Stay Local event. Uh, Michael Muscardini is here uh, live in person uh, pouring his uh, Muscardini wine. I'm interested to hear about his uh, unique wine program, his uh, use of Italian varietals, and uh, today he happens to have a Sangiovese with him, so that's what I'm uh, here to taste. Hey, hi. How are you? So, uh, we're doing... Sure. Toby's going to open uh, Sangiovese. So we've been doing mostly Italian varietals. So when you have a name like Muscardini, you've got to do Italian varietals. And today we brought a uh, Zocca de Sangiovese, which is a Sennier uh, process that got the wine. I call it sometimes a byproduct of a happy ending. This year it's going to be fun because we're actually picking the 09 Rosé uh, tomorrow. And uh, we're actually picking it for rosé. We're not picking Sangiovese. Thank you, Toby. Thank you, Toby. And Toby just gave me the, the Sangiovese. And this is the 07 uh, Sangiovese. Right? Like a little bit done. And this is actually from the uh, Pauly Ranch. Pauly Ranch is up there in Mendocino, Ukiah Valley. And it's uh, actually just been released in the last, uh, last 30 days. It's won two gold medals, one at the Orange County, one at the San Francisco Chronicle, and then just won a double gold at the San Francisco, uh, sorry, at the Cal State Fair. And so this is great that um, it's won so many things. So we're, I'm thrilled. If you have to taste it and enjoy, tell me what you think of it. The other uh, Italian varietals that we're doing actually are Barbera, uh, which I don't have here today. Uh, the 0706 are all sold out. The 08 is going to be released relatively soon, sometime late fall. And I also make a Super Tuscan, which I just call a red wine, but it's my only proprietary blend. And it has uh, the 06, which is just sold out, is out. It's 50% Santa Macy, 25% Syrah, and 25% Cabernet Sauvignon. And so we're going to be releasing the 07 here any day now. So since you're going to make our uh, top 10 list of, uh, of Sonoma Valley wineries uh, that you should be in their wine club, or uh, wine clubs you can't live without, rather. Um, what would you say is um, so great about your winemaking across the board, um, and what goes into making all your wines? What what makes them worthy of being so so good all together? That's a good question. One is I'm a micro wine maker. Micro winery is under 2,500 cases. I just got that great distinction in the California State Fair. The first time they gave a micro wine, best wine, micro winery for 2009 in red. And the difference is everything's made in small lots. The rosé, 200 cases. The Sangiovese, 390 cases. The Syrahs that I do are about 150 cases. So everything is very small. Uh, plus or minus about 2,000 cases. So I actually have my hands on everything. Delivery, I mean, from delivery to wet making. To, I'll be there helping take tomorrow morning. I enjoy doing that. Um, the big difference is the wine has to uh, achieve two things in my regard. The one has to have a fruit component on both the nose and the taste, and has to be food friendly or I don't bother. So I have bulked out some of my wine because it didn't reach that program. So that's the, the, the hand in. All right, thank you, Michael. I'll let you hold up a bottle so you can see clearly uh, what we're talking about. And uh, this is at uh, www.muscardini.com. All right, great. Always buy uh, directly from the winery when you can. And my name is Robert O. Mowron. Thank you for joining us.